rapping like the winner do. Do see me with the crew? I done get some food. I see you looking like your dude. Had to make a move, make. Hey family, don't forget to hit the bell, subscribe, join me on my mission to gain 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I appreciate that. Also, if you want to make a video topic request, or if you just want to let me know you rock with me, send a donation to the Cash App or one of these other places, you feel me? Much appreciated. And follow me on social media too, especially Instagram. What's up y'all, it's Fade Almighty, aka the Global Dark Skin Ambassador. So... Uh, the internet is going crazy. The internet is going nuts about this uh, Pooh Shiesty situation. You know, um, what we have is Pooh Shiesty in the green turtle looking suit. And uh, it's looking shaky, you know. People are asking around the internet. I've seen dudes who've been to jail um, give their opinion on the situation about Pooh Shiesty. Um, the question is, is Pooh Shiesty in the mental health part of jail? Now, when I say mental health, I mean like mental health. Like there's a place where guys go where they basically say, I can't live here. I got too much beef or they say listen I don't want to be in jail I don't want to be in no more I don't want to live no more so then they put you in something that is called suicide watch the suicide prevention unit is Pooh Shiesty in the suicide prevention unit I mean the suit sure looks like it um these are all materials that are non-flammable and don't have no strings, so you can't set yourself on fire or hang yourself. Um, I ain't gonna lie, the optics of it, it looks crazy. It looks crazy. It looks crazy. However, I've got to play the devil's advocate, you know what I'm saying? Um, I would say that Pooh Shiesty just got on, um, Basically, the rookie of the year as far as rap goes. Uh, heavy street cred in Memphis. Heavy street cred in the South. Um, um, his father was in the streets, so now he really got like his last name that he really got to have honor for and de and defend. I, I I find it hard to imagine Pooh Shiesty. Really, even if he was, even if he did have a lot of smoke, choosing to sign himself into suicide prevention, suicide watch, instead of just thugging it out. Because here's the thing. Yes, he's in a lot of trouble, but I still feel like he's going to get some type of bond and end up coming home before the end of this year, if not the top of next year. I do not see Pooh Shiesty doing a long stretch, even though it is whatever it is that he caught his charge for, whatever, whatever. He's still a millionaire. He's still got enough money to get a good enough lawyer to where he can walk. He can walk and just be on papers. So then he would have to take into account how it looks in the street if he actually signed into suicide prevention, which is what gangster dudes do. When they got too much smoke and they don't want to deal with they smoke, you know what I'm saying? So they pretend they want to like harm themselves and stuff like that. I'm going to say I don't think Pooh Shiesty is in suicide prevention. Rather, it looks like he is. It looks like he is. That's not the regular like jail, general pop uniform, right? But I'm going to say that I think that maybe the jail put him in there to make sure he's all right. I'm not gonna say that Pooh Shiesty is just like some pussy nigga and he put himself in suicide watch because he was scared, you know what I'm saying? Knowing that he could get 
he has a lawyer and he's gonna come home within months, if not sooner. And he still got a reputation of whole once he comes home, if he still wanna come home and rap about being a gangster, which is all that he does. I just don't think that he willingly put himself in there. I don't. I think it, it, it will cost him too much money once he came home. It will cost him to lose respect in the streets, lose respect in the industry. I, I don't see it. I don't see it. I think, I think it was some kind of court order. I think it was some kind of court order, or maybe he just got there and the people at the jail. You know what I'm saying? Like, they want to protect him. Like something happens to him. He can sue the jail for something happening when they're supposed to protect him, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of celebrities, when they go to jail, they end up in um, protective custody. Like, for instance, Lil Wayne went into protective custody. But sometimes it happens. I personally, I, it definitely looks funny in the light, but I personally don't think that Pooh Shiesty willingly put himself in the suicide prevention because um, he was worried about anything. I don't think he willingly signed himself into that. I think it was some type of court order, but y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, share, comment, subscribe, peace. It's just my opinion as somebody who, looking at it from somebody who, who is gonna be home and still has a, a reputation of hold, but also somebody who actually been in jail, been in prison. Let me know what y'all think. Like, share, comment, subscribe,